Well, in art, certainly, contemporary art's job is to, is to wreck whatever came before it. And from the very beginning, after the, after the old masters, from then on, each generation wrecked that. Uh, that something that's pretty and beautiful is probably the worst thing you could say today in contemporary art about something. Um, unless it's so pretty, it's nauseating. So, um, and people that, most people have great contempt about contemporary art, and I find that hilarious because I did a piece that said contemporary art hates you. And it does hate you because you can't see it. You don't know the magic trick. You haven't learned the vocabulary. You haven't learned the special way of seeing it something that changes it. And, um, and that is like joining a biker gang, that is. But you do have to be able to appreciate all kinds of taste. And the contemporary art that I like best is the kind that initially angers you and say, oh, now this is, but then that's so great. I saw a painting last night that, was, that I really want to buy, but it's a dilemma. It's by Karen Sander, an artist I like and collect. But this painting, she just took a blank canvas and left it outside until it got mold and everything, and it's really ugly. But I thought she had struggled. She didn't do one thing. But the problem with buying it is that the mold will spread in your house, and it's toxic. So this, to me, is the best art piece I've seen all year. I'm still trying to figure out how I could own it without poisoning myself. I always wanted to make people angry and make them laugh, though, to be surprised. I mean, my early movies were made for a hippie audience. That's who went to midnight movies. But I was a local, I guess, like a hippie. I mean, I had long hair. I thought the revolution was coming. But I was a yippie, you know? I, and so I made fun of hippies by making violent movies, like Multiple Maniacs and Pink Flamingos. But the hippies always liked it the same way today. In my book, Role Models, I have chapters that are fairly rude, you know, about... Um, outsider pornographers and men that go down in outhouses and people shit on them. And, but no one seems to object. It was on the be bestseller list in the Midwest. I think, isn't that amazing? That's in libraries. And, and um, you know, I, I wrote a very impassioned piece about trying to free one of the Manson women, which not anybody got that controversial about that. The only thing I've said on the book tour that caused people to go crazy was in San Francisco. I said I thought they had good public transportation. And then there were all these blogs that said, has John Waters lost his mind? So I thought that was the only controversial thing I said. So things are, it's odd. People, I guess if they buy my book, they expect to be a little bit surprised. That's what they're paying the money for. They'd be disappointed if they weren't. I think there's not an ironic sentence in role models. I, I don't write about anybody that's so bad they're good. And even in my movies, the, in Baltimore and all that kind of thing, I'm looking up to those people. I, I'm asking you to come into their world and, and marvel. I'm never asking you like reality television to look down on them and make fun of them and feel superior. And I think it's a big, big difference. I, I don't think my even my, my most extreme films were ever mean-spirited, really. I mean, in Pink Flamingos, Divine was minding her own business, um, writing her memoirs in the woods when she was challenged by a jealous pervert. Uh, I, think, I think my movies are politically correct in a weird way, and moral. Well, the morality in my movies is mind your own business. You don't know what caused people to act the way they do. And, and, and so until you know all that and you've heard all the evidence, um, it's none of your business. I, I couldn't believe everybody went crazy about Tiger Woods. Well, he didn't run for Pope. I don't care who he slept with. What, he shouldn't care who I sleep with. They all said he was great, too. That's the thing. I, what's he upset about? Every person said he was the best fuck ever.